Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we upload videos, tutorials, and tips weekly about ARCHICAD and other related architecture softwares. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for new videos. This video is from video series of staircase detail settings in ARCHICAD that is coming up, which is floor plan display, design detail, and construction detail settings of a staircase. Stair tool is one of the intuitive tools among other tools in ARCHICAD. It provides great flexibility for fine-tuning the 2D display of stairs according to different model design views. By having all these many great settings, it makes it difficult for a lot of us to use and get the results we want that are specific to our project standards. I'm going to start this video series with the basic floor plan display settings. This will give us knowledge on how to customize the graphic appearance of the staircase plan or symbol to suit our architectural drawing standards. If you don't want to waste time learning from this video, you can speed up your workflow by downloading the presets of a different staircase design pack on the description below. There is also a month end special discount for all of our ARCHICAD BIM resources like templates, presets, ebooks, and BIM projects, just to mention the few. Just use the code provided in the link to claim your discount. Without any further ado, let's get started. For this exercise, I'm going to use ARCHICAD default template. Let's just zoom in here where we are going to place our stickies. And then on the design tool palette, let's activate the state tool then open its settings on the settings dialog let's click on the stay and set the stay width to 1200 millimeters and then change the number of staircase to 18 or number of steps sorry then i'm going to fix the going depth to 300 millimeters and then there are different types of landings i'm going to use automatic landing let's hit ok to apply the changes click on the first point on the baseline and drag your cursor to the left let's just drag your cursor to the left it will count graphically the number of steps and then let's click on the ninth um, step there we go and then activate the landing on the part palette and uh, move your cursor vertically to draw your landing let's change the baseline to the right then set the distance between the flight to be 100 and um, activate the flight uh, command and draw to the right to place the second flight just click on the on the screen there to complete this um, placement of the staircase i think this is not what i want if you check on the 3d we have um zoom in there we have the step on the landing of which i just wanted a plane or a basic um step or staircase let's just go back and get rid of this um, activate the stay tool again to redo that and if you open the settings by default it will pick the previous settings we just did so hit ok and then click on the first point is again if you drag your cursor to the left to count i think this time around let's stop on the 10th on the 10th step click on that and activate the landing set the distance between the flight 200 again and there we go activate the flight command and then click there we go if you check on the arrow tool up in the 3d this is what i wanted before just a plain uh, or a basic um, staircase and we'll go back to the ground floor plane and we're going to set now the plan of this let's customize that open it its settings on this its settings let's go down to the floor plan display and um grid and structure let's set the grid settings to just a plain uh, grid we just want to simplify it 
and go down to the grid component settings and overwrite the pens to color one for all parameters there you go and then you can hit ok to apply the changes there you go then let's go back again and do other attributes open it settings let's go to the break marker and then under break marker settings let's choose um, from the list i'll pick this one it will depend on your your standards then i'm going to make the offset of the break marker both 100 from the both sides just to have uh, uh, that standard and then overwrite the pens below here to color one so that you can be consistent perfect if it okay this is what i wanted to achieve it will depend on how you want i'm just showing the options let's go back again and do other parameters like a walk walking line and then from the line settings there are different two different types there the first one doesn't have much of um, parameters as you can see and let's go back to the second one the second one it gives us more options to set let's start with the um pens parameter i think i'm going with color two then you have an option to reverse on a visible part arrow same applies to the hidden um, part if we click on the second or the forward arrow it gives us other parameters of the start symbol we have also options there to choose i think i will just leave it from <coughs> the default then i can have the symbol size 200 millimeters there we go and you can set the fill pen to whatever color you want this time around 71 perfect let's move to the third page of which it has an end symbol we have different types of symbols to play around with i think the automatic one is perfect and you can either hide the first um, arrow from the visible part and then hit ok there you go i think it's getting there let's go back again to the settings the summary is going to be the numbering click on the numbering um, and under numbering settings you has also options there the first one it doesn't have the it's a built-in numbering um, system so it has also a few options as you can see if we check on this one it will give us more options to play around so we can choose what type of component we want to number and where we want to place this so yeah as you can see and you can choose the offset of the of the text as you can see most especially if you want to place the railing because we're going to have a railing there so go back and we also have the offset from the treat if you say 100 and then hit ok it will just move it there if you want it to have if you want to have it on the center for example i think we're just going to increase the value let's try 120 just little go back again maybe try another value i'll just leave it there let's just leave it there and if you go down here there is an option to add a frame to our text and then set the pen parameter of the frame to pen 2 and then we have a frame offset let's just key in one 0 0.2 and then if you hit ok that's basically what you can achieve another attribute is the description of the staircase let's open the settings also oh, let's start with before we do let's go with the up and down text so as you can see if you go up here we have two different uh, settings we have the built-in like like normal it doesn't have more features but if you check on the second one it will give you uh, a lot of parameters to set so we start with the text position one you can play around with the position or you can even decide to switch it off depending on what you want so same applies to text 
two which is for for the up arrow there we go and then you can also override this text to whatever you want in this case it will be just there and then you have an option to override the pens as well as you can see and then there is the text offset from the y-axis if you see negative 150 for text 2 and then if we set text 1 the offset from the y to 100 and then hit ok you see it to create the distance between this day and the text so yeah that's basically it if you want to set that so i think let's go to the description um attributes so we also have the same we have two different types of description the first one is just the basic where you can customize or key in a custom description of the staircase for example you say a concrete staircase um, text and if you do key it will just place it that but that's not what you want you have another option where you to have a more value where you can have um, description of number of prices or description of number of going depending on what you want to display and then on the text also you can play around with your prefix text for example you can say going or riser instead of um, just um, the letters as you can see let's go back and um, if you scroll down here under the text style we let's set this to color true and then i want the position to be let's check this position parameters i think i can i'll choose the first landing and then the orientation will be um, horizontal let's hit ok to apply the changes there we go but i want it to be vertical aligned so i think let's change to align with the symbol no it didn't change let's go back i think um, it's going to be parallel with walking line hit ok there we go that's basically what i want just to avoid clashing of the um, elements let's go back again i think we have one left um, parameter to set under grid and, and structure yes this contour pen line we need to be consistent and then hit to key 